this, in this uh, uh, exhibition, the first thing everybody is going to see is this uh, mm, installation of, uh, of uh, prison cells, jail cells, um, but it's transparent. And uh, so you see sort of the formal qualities of it, the bars, but it's empty. And I, the thing that um, uh, I think also goes with this is that every uh, open cell uh, tells the viewer, the visitor, I could be inside, I could be outside. Am I inside? Outside. And this is also where we are. So it's like a, a kind of um, uh, 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 analog to society that we live in. Are we inside, outside, as visitors, as uh, art, uh, in relation to art, and so forth. But uh, transparency is the theme, in a sense, of all of this, and seeing. Um, but then there's depth here because there's some other features of this uh, of this piece that um, are very important to me. And one of the uh, things that brought this into being in this form was that uh, I produced a film, started to produce a film uh, using the idea of. Uh, incarceration yeah, uh, uh, in uh, the early 1980s. That's uh, like 30 years ago. And uh, my friends, uh, I asked all my friends and our artist friends and musician friends to participate in the film. And I uh, put all of them in costumes. Uh, the costumes I have were all like these uh, uh, institutional dresses. So it was sort of uh, the idea of, oh, it will be a women's prison film, yeah. But then nothing to do with any uh, plot or theme, uh, but uh, just to see what would happen. Uh, Bonnie, I have a dinner fit. Uh, now, now you're going to get, now you're going to come, it's your fault. It's your fault, Phil. and uh, also in the film uh, at the time Mike Kelly who uh, I had met uh, just a few years earlier and so they, at this time they were not uh, well-known artists as they are now uh, I then had uh, in mind to uh, continue this film eventually when I could afford the film. Now, of course, today you can't even buy the film because the, they stopped making the film. So, uh, but I would like very much, even today, to uh, shoot more of this film. And I have uh, more, uh, I, this is a duplicate. This uh, uh, prison here is a duplicate of the one in my studio in Buffalo, New York. And there, I would, I would get uh, Tony Arsler and Mike Kelly and all of the other people who I, I'm in contact with to come back and replay their same scene because I love the idea that language is takes uh, language lasts longer than people or space, and so uh, I would put this uh, back together. Unfortunately, Mike uh, died last year, and this uh, put. Uh, uh, it was a, a blow to me and a lot of other people, and I decided to use the film uh, in its present form in connection with the set uh, as an installation. Uh, at the same time, I was very interested in um, other things dealing with transparency and with viewing 
and point of view and so forth. And these pieces, these glass pieces behind you, uh, are much newer work yeah, from, the, uh, from the last year. And uh, these were the ones that I looked at, that I was thinking of when I said, I wasn't really sure I knew exactly what I was doing. How could I make a uh, piece that you, that's uh, almost not a piece and that you can't see? Um, but uh, I liked it very much. I would have been doing a lot of uh, writing and thinking about what had happened in Europe in the Renaissance to cause the appearance of linear perspective and how this was installed in Western art for so long and then lost, presumably, taken away, sort of zhuk, we wipe, the, wipe away linear perspective from art at the same time as the culture fills up with uh, films and pictures and photos and all kinds of linear perspective becomes uh, the uh, environment that we live in, but we then pretend that it's gone. So there's a kind of condi condition of, uh, of, of, of visuality that's today extremely confusing to me because I don't know whether I live in the middle of it or whether it's over, you know. And so uh, this is, it doesn't, uh, there's no clear connection to that. Uh, the story isn't uh, too clear, but at the same time, this made me think about the ways that these connections occur. And one of them is through architecture and uh, architectural forms. And when, when we look at uh, these origins, you find they come with uh, Brunelleschi and uh, Alberti. And Brunelleschi, of course, is a sort of very quixotic, uh, paradoxical uh, character you know, about whom we know so much he, the, he, with his dome, with his uh, drive, his uh, uh, weird personality. Um, but uh, uh, as an architect, we know that he's dealing with the problem of translating three-dimensional ideas into two-dimensional ideas and making designs. And so I made uh, this series of designs that are designs actually of the glass as orthographic projections and um, and then the realization of course yeah there's another piece down at the far end it's uh, called Grammatorn and these are um, uh, bottles with rubber mm, grommets in them a grommet is a, it's a, a uh, mm, uh, what do you call it? it's like a, a a thing that you put in a hole to protect the hole. And uh, I use it just as a hole for air. When air goes through a hole, it makes almost no noise, but some noise, like I thought, well, this would be very funny to make an instrument out of these sounds, you know, almost no sounds. But today, amplification means that very little sounds, or almost no sounds, can also be important sounds. Yeah, because in, the, in, the fr in former times, it was the, the key problem to music was to provide instruments with um, a, a full big sound, so they could be heard over a large space. Today, this is not a problem. It's not a problem at all. But very few people are making instruments that don't make sound. Ah, so this uh, instrument is also then a, a kind of transparency for uh, breath, a different kind of transparency, a different use of the whole of opening, and so, you know, like a lot of this piece of this installation is circulates around ideas of 
the, the self and its relation to openings, emptiness, and the possibility of social occupation. Yeah, I, I could go on. Uh, <laughs> uh, I love talking about this piece because I love this installation, and I think it's so fine to be to have it here. 